to solve all your sleep problems with science. The quality of our night's rest and our overall health depend on our sleep posture and on what we do before going to bed. Let's check out the best recommendations from top specialists on how to sleep properly to stay healthy. Here's some great news. The problem with waking up quickly in the morning is finally solved. Shoulder pain. If you wake up with a sore shoulder, avoid sleeping on your side, especially on the painful shoulder. Also, don't sleep on your stomach since it causes misalignment of the shoulders. The best sleeping posture is lying on your back. Put a thin pillow under your head. An orthopedic pillow will work best. Place another pillow on your stomach and hug it. Your shoulders are now in the stable position. If you don't like sleeping on your back, try lying on the side that is not painful. Draw your legs up slightly toward your chest and place a pillow between your knees. Avoid sleeping with your hand under your head because it produces an unnatural position of the shoulder. Back pain. If you have back pain, you need to maintain the normal curves of your spine. If your mattress is overly soft, it's time to get a new one. Sleeping on your back is the best position for you. Place a pillow under your knees to help restore natural spinal curves and reduce the tension in your tendons. Also, put a small rolled towel under your lower back for additional support. If you're a stomach sleeper, put a pillow under your lower abdomen and pelvis so that the small of your back doesn't move forward. If you like sleeping on your side, it's best to take the fetal position. Draw your legs up slightly toward your chest, keeping your spine in neutral, and put a small pillow between your knees. This trick will help you take the load off your lower back. Neck pain. Just like with back pain, you need to support your neck while sleeping. In general, it's best to sleep on your back with a pillow under your head and a pillow under each arm. You should choose your pillows carefully. Go for orthopedic or roll pillows. If you usually sleep on your side, your pillow shouldn't be too high, no thicker than six inches. Ideally, the height of your pillow should match the width of one shoulder. If you sleep on your stomach, use the thinnest pillow you can find. It's better not to sleep in this position at all since lying all night with your head turned to one side strains your neck. Snoring. Here's some useful tips to stop obnoxious snoring forever. Avoid sleeping on your back. In this position, throat tissues sag and your tongue falls backward into your throat, narrowing the airway. Choose a pillow carefully. Overly soft pillows can cause your head to tilt backward and increase snoring. Use an extra pillow or elevate the head of your bed a few inches to stop your tongue from falling back over your windpipe. Sleep on your side. With your head lying in a natural position, nothing will restrict the airflow. Do exercises. Don't forget to train the muscles of your tongue and throat. It helps strengthen them and reduce snoring. Leg cramps. Leg cramps are usually sudden spasms or tightening of muscles in the calf, feet, or thighs. Almost 80% of people suffer from this problem, regardless of age. Night leg cramps are most often related to some disease, nerve damage, or lack of trace elements. To stop leg cramps, get the calf muscles stretched and strengthened. Also, try doing yoga or massaging your legs before bedtime. Keep in mind that you should exercise regularly to achieve good results. Heartburn and aching legs. If you suffer from frequent heartburn, lie on your left side while sleeping. The left side sleeping position prevents stomach contents from coming back up into the esophagus that preventing heartburn. Do you have aching legs at night? Use a roll pillow or the foot of your bed to keep your legs lifted during sleep. The venous blood accumulated in your legs will run downward and you'll feel better. Also, try rubbing or lightly massaging your legs before retiring for the night and avoid consuming caffeine at least six hours before bedtime. You can't fall asleep. To deal with trouble falling asleep, keep in mind these three simple tips. First, banish phones and computers before bedtime. It can be tough to do, but you should. The light from screens affects our sleep-wake cycles. Second, avoid consuming caffeine. Don't drink coffee, energy drinks, soda, black tea, or chocolate at least six hours before going to bed. Third, exercise in the morning and afternoon. Exercises help you tone your whole body, improves your blood circulation, and helps you fall asleep much faster. You can't stay asleep. If you often wake up in the middle of the night, 
You should stop using your gadgets before going to sleep and also avoid alcohol before bedtime. Alcohol disrupts the water balance in your body and affects your sleep cycle. Moreover, check your room temperature. The ideal sleeping temperature is 20 to 22 degrees Celsius. You can't wake up. Everyone seems to suffer from this problem, but oddly enough, it's very easy to solve. If you want to wake up early in the morning, all you need to do is go to bed early in the evening. Set your alarm for the same time every day, even on the weekends. You will see the results within a week. Keep in mind that sleep disorders can be caused by many factors, from fatigue and uncomfortable shoes to problems with the digestive or nervous system. Only a doctor can determine the cause of the problem and advise on the right treatment. Share this video with those who suffer from insomnia. Let's get them sleeping well again. Hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe if you're visiting our channel for the first time.